hello everybody. Uh, my name is Vaseem Akhtar uh, and uh, I am head of computing faculty uh, in Griffith College and I am program director for masters in big data management and analytics. I supervise a, a number of data analytics projects and final, final year dissertation and I always use the domain, the data uh, from higher education sector. Uh, I am almost about to finish my MBA with UCL at any moment. I'm just checking emails, you know, any moment I'll get the results. <laughs> so this is kind of my PhD is in computing science, but that MBA is in higher education management. Now, as part of that MBA, I reviewed almost all JISC supported uh, business in, uh, intelligence and analytics projects in various UK universities. I reviewed a large number of uh, uh, dashboards as part of that uh, work um, in, in many US universities also, Purdue University signal projects. I think everyone has uh, looked at that. I have then completed a 360 review of a GIST uh, supported uh, BI project in University of East London and the impact of the dashboards, okay, and that project on the local and wider community. Uh, I have completed a, a, a full consultancy project for a Russell Group University in the UK that how they should implement uh, evidence based management. Uh, basically, they already have a GIST supported project there, they have some dashboards, so now they want to take it to the next level so that was my consultancy project I keep engaging with IT services in Griffith College as we are developing and experimenting with various dashboards my personal interest now as the moment I get that email uh, from UCL that it's over uh, after that it's uh, in institutional um, uh, research uh, it's basically institutional effectiveness and mainly integrated institutional effectiveness that how we bring those models there are various areas and I'll come back and talk to talk to uh, you about that, those uh, things uh, again uh, modeling individuals career development and progression and program level department level and faculty level and then institutional level integrated effectiveness now opportunities exist on all levels okay you are talking about monitoring individual students performance you're talking about the performance of a program you're talking about performance of a faculty a department are you are talking about st strategic performance at institutional level so there are opportunities it's about uh, developing right evidence base and presenting that at right time now it has already been said in various presentations higher education institutions we uh, uh, collect large number of data uh, okay and I think most of us, you know, after exam boards, when we ship, you know, uh, all the assessments, you know, to those containers over there and in and, and some, some other dumping grounds, you know, I should not be using that word. But anyways, so, 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 so we collect, that's all data that is there. So how we can actually use that data and create and develop evidence base that we can use to perform better at all various levels. Challenges. Okay, and, and, and something that was actually said by the previous speaker at the end of uh, the presentation, now common vocabulary, common terms are coming out, okay, higher education institutions, complex organizations, so small, big, no matter what size is there, these are complex uh, organizations, information and data exist in silos, okay, uh, this is my data, no matter how you do the integration, you will find somewhere over there in that corner that has his or her spreadsheet, no, this is my data, I manage this process, okay, now if you want to bring that information in, okay, so then the issue of data ownership, okay, issue of kind of, you know, personality clash, I actually, when I said that information and data exist in silos, I actually typed something else and then I removed with various attitudes, so various kind of, you know, attitudes towards information ownership and 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 that and this research and this work is inherently multidisciplinary how you deal with the challenge of multidisciplinarity okay that's that's another question if you have people who are coming from teaching and learning okay uh, background and their their areas are more like social science the way they see information and if you have someone from IT services they only design databases and provide you data their view of data is totally different so how you bring them together so in my consultancy project I think there was one chapter that focused on how you develop cross develop a uh, uh, cross functional multi uh, departmental I came up with a very large term you know and I put it in the bowl uh, teams how, how you do that okay so so these type of things another thing is we all do similar things but we are unique also on many levels okay so should we look for common vocabulary should we strive for standardization or should we embrace diversity uh, so 
how we manage that okay measurability of learning outcomes now thematic way in a thematic way in a descriptive way we all measure learning outcomes okay but can we develop rubrics that can be then transformed into scorecards okay now i want to talk kind of a data type of language here so basically you have graphs okay a student rather than you go and telling students that uh, how, where you are what is your performance student can see a graph okay that I have met that many learning outcomes of this program so there are total 30 learning outcomes I am there this learning outcome can we just get the data we do this on a piece of paper when we evaluate this that this learning outcome have met but can we do this using graphical kind of you know uh, dashboards and all this we all sit in exam boards the academics who are sitting here with tons of kind of you know papers in, in, you know in our hands and going through each student's performance can we have dashboards and all this so 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 improving and maybe reviewing the measurability of learning outcomes will actually give us that kind of ability to present that as as kind of you know in, in dashboards okay Bring, uh, bringing people together it's a right uh, it's, it's, it's a step in right direction let us move on to next level uh, setting up interest groups, maybe creating opportunity to work together, an annual conference, a publication. Okay, now, another thing I just said a couple of seconds ago that uh, like we do similar type of work, but we are unique also. We need to develop glossary of terms. We need to come up with definitions. When I did my these uh, JISC supported projects, I think there were 18 different universities. You go to one institution, their definition of engagement is slightly different than another universities. Now, Maybe this is the way it should be, but can we come up with a common theme and then we give that common theme to the various institutions, okay, and practitioners that you take it from here and then you build upon that, okay. Your engagement definition for your particular program in your environment could be slightly different, but you will get a common base. The problem that I have observed during my research is that that common base does not exist. People have a totally different view that what is engagement and sometimes I was surprised also. So, what should be measured? How we measure that, okay? A basic, you know, so what should be measured for student ex expectations? Student, we live in a very interesting uh, age, okay? It's not that just measuring student expectations. Sometimes managing student expectations is also a bigger challenge when students come to you with, with the expectations that you say that, no, you have to do this thing to get the degree, okay? So this is part of the program. So, you, you, so, 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 so how you do this, okay? Uh, right evidence base right set of indicators maybe this is where we can collaborate okay uh, and then uh, how these indicators kind of re re relate to each other retentions retention is the biggest it's a huge problem particularly in my faculty computing science if you go in any institution worst retention indicators come from science programs mainly from computing science program that is that is a challenge for us but sometimes reasons are so interesting. I, we did a survey, okay, a student left the program six weeks into the program, okay, and said, no, it's not for me, I'm going to open up, you know, a, a bicycle repair shop over there. So nobody told you before six weeks that this is not for you, and you just realize, and so, so, so basically, you know, where is this, you know, information? There, there is another thing that uh, STEM careers, that's another area that, you know, people should move more into science education and all this. So there was a research done that in an area where there were regular STEM related seminars, any person who had attended just two seminars, there was 80% more probability that person will go into STEM careers, okay? So, so ex managing expectation information, what they have before joining the college, okay? That has a huge impact on retention also. We need to develop common vocabulary, we need to develop common glossary and all this, okay? I think this is the next step that, that we should take. That's me.